Overnight, a U-Haul truck crashes into barriers near the White House. Businesses went into lockdown. The driver detained and Secret Service this morning now saying this crash may have been intentional. Here's ABC's Lindsay Watts. Overnight, tense moments in the nation's capital. Police say the driver of this U-Haul truck rammed into security barriers protecting Lafayette Park just yards from the White House in what may have been an intentional act. Video then shows the truck ramming the barrier a second time. I think at first I was just in shock. Like This I was really... Benjamin Berger's first night in D.C. He says he heard the crash and then saw people running. Thought maybe it was just an accident. And then I, the U-Haul backed up and rammed it again. And at that point, it didn't move. And then that's when uh, the Secret Service police converged on it. Another witness was walking in Lafayette Square at the time. And the truck cut right in front of the path that I was going to take onto the sidewalk. So this was probably no more than 25 feet in front of me. My first thought was a medical emergency. The driver is in custody and facing charges. Sources tell ABC News the truck has been cleared for explosives. Reuters later captured this image that shows a Nazi flag and backpack being removed from the truck. Overnight, Secret Service cordoned off a multi-block perimeter surrounding the White House and park. The Washington Post reports the historic Hay Adams Hotel was even evacuated at request of Secret Service. The driver is facing multiple charges, including assault with a dangerous weapon, destruction of federal property, and threatening to harm the president. No word yet on any motive.